Yo dogs, I want to this back again with another video. Today we are talking about one Marcus Aldridge's retirement. So it's currently the 15th of April, 2021. Okay, so this came out of nowhere for me. I haven't been watching the Nets. Last game I watched the Nets was the Bulls on. I only watched the first quarter or so. Because <clears throat> I don't really like... But yeah, of course the Nets are fun to watch. Uh, and I wanted to watch it because Vukovic had just arrived at the Bulls. And it's like, I like the Bulls. Like, I like the Bulls, so it's Jam 6. It's like, a lot of teams I like. But still, I just turned the game off. Because even though the Bulls did win that game, I thought the fucking Nets were doing so sick. Like, I thought Thomas Sataransky was alright in the first quarter. But outside of that... Mm. But anyway, yeah, let's talk about... Um, yeah, I've got my notes here. Not many notes, because it's just a quick video about his retirement. But. So he's retired with immediate effect. So he's not hanging on till the end of the season. He's just... I mean, it's because of an irregular heartbeat that he's had, I think, as long as he's been an adult. But I don't know that. I have done too much research. I've just been on Twitter. So, yeah. I mean, he is a very good player. I could see him making the Hall of Fame. I mean, if the Nets do win the ring this season, then he's going to get his first ring after he retired, which would be quite cool. I mean, he is one of the reasons I do kind of want the Nets to win, but I also don't. Because, like, A, fucking James Harden was like, this and fucking Russell Westbrook, and I love Russell Westbrook. He's my favourite non celtic player ever. Like, my favourite player is KG. Second favourite player is Ross. I don't know. But, yeah. Um, so, I think he will be a Hall of Famer. Based on how easy the Hall of Fame is to get in, in basketball. Like, it's not the NFL Hall of Fame or the Baseball Hall of Fame. It's just... It's easy in comparison. Like... I mean, not for some people, because Ben Wallace still isn't it, and he was fucking amazing, but beats me. Um, so, yeah, he was dra I'm just going to talk about him for a bit now, because I like him as a player. So, yeah, he was drafted by the Bulls second overall in 2006. I was born in 2006. And, but he was traded to Portland for Victor Cryapa and Tyrus Thomas. I think that was quite up. And then he signed for the Spurs a couple of years later. I mean, yeah. He got bought out on the 25th of March 2021 from the San Antonio Spurs. Yeah, he signed for the Nets on the 28th of March and retired on the Nets on the 15th of April. That's 18... That's 18 days on the Brooklyn Nets, and you get a ring for that. It, it's funny. It's like... It's just funny. I mean, yeah, he does deserve the rings. He's been fucking grinding for years, but, jeez. Can I sign a 10-day contract? And now I legally can't sign a 10-day contract. But if I signed a 10-day contract, would I get a ring? Hypothetically. Ask him for a friend. You don't know them. They go to a different school. Uh, so, yeah. That might be the shortest stint to get a ring. I mean, he played his last game against the Lakers. I think he did not bad, not great. I think about 12 points. Probably about three assists or rebounds or whatever. I don't know. I was looking at him a minute ago. But I forgot to put it on my notes. But, yeah, that's just it. That's all I had to say. In a bit of life.